Traditionally, dissolved oxygen has been the main process control parameter for biological nutrient removal of wastewater. However, reliable online nutrient monitoring has led to quicker staff responses, as well as increased control of aeration power, as well as being able to make quick process adjustments. At a typical wastewater treatment plant, the aeration process consumes over 50% of the energy used at the plant. This is due to the blowers being operated with a higher aeration output than necessary to achieve the permitted ammonium effluent limits. Online nutrient monitoring can help reduce the amount of wasted energy. Overview of the uh, latest probes, there are optical probes and ion selective or ISC probes to measure nitrogen in wastewater. The ISC probes are lower cost However, the optical probes can self-clean and do not require electrode replacement. Currently, there is no optical probe that can measure ammonium. Only nitrate can be measured. But ISC probes can measure both ammonium and nitrates. The probe takes the reading and feeds it to the PLC. The PLC can then adjust the blower output accordingly for the ammonium concentration. Some of the applications that you can use for online nutrient monitoring is there's dissolved oxygen probes, ammonium probes, as well as phosphorus probes. And the probes you can use to either help reduce your blower output and help with energy efficiency, or you can also use them to regulate your chemical feed so that you're not overdosing or using more chemical than necessary. The Grand Rapids plant has a 42.2 MGD flow rate and it's composed of a north and south plant and so the city of Grand Rapids partnered with Hawk in order to do a study on the south plant and what they did is they took one aeration tank and used it as a control base and they ran it with their traditional set parameter of three milligrams per liter and then they used the second aeration tank and installed some DO probes and ammonium probes and allowed the probes to fluctuate the blower output. And as you can see in a graph, while the influent ammonium rates were actually fairly identical between the two aeration tanks, the effluent for aeration tank two, which had the probes, actually had a better effluent ammonium rate while reducing their blowers. So all of that ends up as a cost savings. At the end of the study, they determined there was a 15% energy savings, which resulted to an annual cost savings of over $58,000. Uh, as a result of this study, Grand Rapids decided to convert the rest of the plant over to ammonia control. The benefits of online monitoring, it provides the operation staff with real-time data for process adjustments, cost savings both energy and chemicals, improve nitrogen removal and help meet compliance, enhance operation of the wastewater treatment facility. In the January 2016 Water Environment and Technology Journal, we published an article in regard to aeration control case studies to reduce energy and meet compliance at wastewater treatment plants. By helping communities to reduce their energy cost, getting the incentives from power companies and helping to secure available grants for such improvements will foster a long-term relationship with these communities.